Hey everybody, Space Queen Barbie. And in our last video, we talked about the Babylonians. This week, it's the Hittites. So the Babylonians were indigenous people of the Mideast. And the Hittites are from a different part. The Hittites are located right above the Mediterranean Sea. So in art history, this is referred to as the New Kingdom. 1245 to 1215 BC. We're, um, they were responsible for building the best chariots and the land that they're, they were on is known as Turkey now. They're responsible for making iron and their Hittites are the ancient Antolians. The Hittites also used a lot of art and architectural blueprints from the Sumerians, just like the Babylonians, in the time of Abraham between 200 and 1500 BCE. The Hittites empire was between the 1600s and the 1100 BCE from the Hebrew Bible, children of Heath, son of Canaan, responsible for advanced iron making, worshiping the storm gods, and they have government officials as well. So with their own authority over the governments in their kingdom of the Iron Age, in conclusion to the relation to the Babylonians in Babylon and how they connect to the Hittites, it would be that the Hittites put Babylon to sleep getting rid of it, tearing apart the Babylonian Empire, and crushing it to the ground. They destroyed it completely, and it was sure to never be established ever again. So, they, them, they themselves, anywhere, they were inside the Hittites. They went back to Antola. They didn't want to stay in Babylon. They couldn't. It was destroyed. They didn't use anything from the Babylonians at all. So this was after related some of the Hittites, they were human they were human deities with superpowers from that they worshipped God. So they acquired these superpowers, did rituals to acquire these superpowers, calling them gods. And this was after Ezra returned from exile. And the Babylonians gave him time away from where he is from. So the studies with his family, they were in Jerusalem. And this religion that they did study at that time was polytheism. The Hittites are responsible for scholarism. The Book of the Kings has 3,500 sealed records providing every name in its ancestry of the Hittite kings, as well as the officials and the administrative centers of the cuneiform tablets. The Battle of Kadesh in 1274 BCE existed for a long period and it is known by King Ramses the second. He had to fight one of the um, deity. He had to actually fight one of the gods, and he fought the Battle of Kadesh for five years. Then, twenty-one years after that, uh, formed a peace treaty with Hattusili the second king of the Hittite Empire. Syria, Turkey, Lebanon, Greece, Armenian descendants of Heath in the Old Testament book. Son of Canaan, son of Ham, born of Noah in Genesis 10, verse 1 through 6 is where you can find that information. Descendants of the Hittites and how they relate to the Bible figures. We all heard of Bathsheba, right? So she was a Hittite and the wife of Uriah. 
who was also a Hittite. The Bible story goes like this. In the Second Samuel, verse 11 and 12, King David was watching her take a bath in her private courtyard, and he just kept staring. The problem wasn't that he kept staring. It's that he took her, and she is Uriah's wife, who is in the Hittite army. He was the ruler of everyone in the army. So basically, he was very dedicated. But guess who owned the army? David. So um, he was dedicated to his work. And while King David takes his, takes her and winds her up, gets her pregnant, and he has a child, he wants to tell her to tell Uriah to hide that fact that was the ultimate sin against God, hiding the sin and covering it up. So that's the story of the Hittites. And they include a lot of other Bible figures that will not be mentioned in the Bible because of the sin.